Hey guys, welcome back. I am CF Draws, and today I am going to be doing another redraw video. This time I'm going to be redrawing one of my cousin's artworks. Today, my cousin has submitted to me a picture of a dragon creature. She claims it's a dragon that she drew and she wanted me to redraw it. She said she wasn't too sure how to draw some of it and it is a bit abstract for a dragon but I think I can turn this into something cool looking and let's see what we can make. Let's jump into it and I'll see you guys towards the end. So before I get started with the artwork notes, I just want to throw out a little bit of a disclaimer that this artwork was made over different periods of time, over different days, because my weeks have been pretty sporadic, I've been pretty busy, so that's why I haven't uploaded in like nearly four months, but I figured I would post this video, this footage is probably like a month, two months old. Something like that but um I was leaning into like an insect design with this dragon because when I first looked at the original design it had these like antenna on its head and it had like this like caterpillar-esque body I don't know if that's what she was going for but that's kind of just what struck out to me so I decided you know I'm thinking of some sort of caterpillar so I'll just generalize that to just insect in general so I decided to just go for an insect dragon design. So I went for like mantis claws and kind of insect-esque wings. I still need to kind of work on my wing rendering. I'm trying to branch it out to different, different shapes of wings and stuff for my dragons instead of making them all the same shape. And I gave it like a second set of wings, like a smaller pair, and then like some little little claws in between the hind legs and the front legs I gave each leg different like I don't know what you would call them I guess like extra like feelers or something and the face it's not really insect esque but I decided to give it like the little antenna kind of up on its snout and give it some like multi horns and kind of give it a round feeling kind of like the original has like a round bulbous head and one more extra design note, I decided to add all these like little fins and stuff to the top and stuff. Add like dots to those fins on the bottom of its tail, give it multiple segments on the end of its tail. I really tried to go for like insect because I really like looking at the original, I was really feeling insect design. I don't know if that's, she probably didn't originally like design her dragon to look like an insect. But I looked at it and thought, you know, I can make some sort of really cool insect dragon. I haven't done that yet. So I tried it out and I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to keep this going because now we're on to color selection. And as you can probably notice, these are not my usual Copic markers. I actually, I probably filmed this like maybe a week or two after Christmas. And I got this set of, I believe it, I don't have the markers with me now, but it was like 40... A set of 40 Artify markers and I was using those to color this entire artwork and I really like them like they're actually really good budget markers the one thing that I kind of have to nitpick about them is that the nibs if you use them for extended periods of time they're kind of fibrous instead of like Copics it's almost like a sponge material so with Copics their nibs will kind of fall apart but these markers, like Copics won't fall apart, I mean, but these markers, like the fibers will kind of unweave and kind of fan out the more you use them. Cause I was doing a bunch of blending here cause I had so many different colors to choose from. But other than that, like aside from the tips fanning out and the ink kind of spreading a little bit more than I expected, I really like these markers and I can definitely see myself using them more in the future. But yeah, other than that, I'm pretty much, like, this video is gonna be pretty short, so I'm pretty much done with the time lapse for the most part. I'll kind of leave it for you guys to kind of watch the end of the coloring, and I'll see you guys at the end for my final thoughts.
So here is my finished recreation of my cousin's dragon design. It definitely took a turn that I don't think was intended <laughs> when it was first made. It doesn't really look like the original. I definitely took some creative liberties, but you know, it's art, and I guess that's one of the great things about it. You can basically do whatever you want. You got your creative liberties at your fingertips, and I really, really like this. I, I think everything really came together really well, and the markers performed very well. I know it's I'm a bit nitpicky about it because they're not Copics, but I think they're pretty good markers, and the, it, the artwork stands for itself. Like, I think it's really cool, and I hope my cousin likes it as well. But yeah, if you guys like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And while you're over clicking all the buttons, don't forget to turn on post notifications. So whenever I post a new video, you will get notified because I don't really have any set upload schedule. My schedule's kind of all over the place. But uh, yeah, just, I guess, just stay tuned for another video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.